Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today I'm gonna demonstrate carousel anything widget. This widget is useful for making different kind of slides. You can make it in a one-off section. You can make it full slider like this. As we have the background effect and lots of options in our row background widget. So you can use that in the background. And on the top, you can use any element or any widget of the elementor. You also can make sections like this. You also can make beautiful sections on a vertical mode as well. So all these kind of options available in the carousel anything. Ultimately, you can use any widget in this widget for the elementor. First of all, in this widget, you have the option for the repeater over here, in which you have the title option and you have the option to select the template. These are the template which you can make from the Elementor My Templates. You can make new template using Add New or Import Templates. And whichever the templates you will make here, are visible in this drop down and you can make multiple slides from this option then you have the overflow hidden option which is for the advanced users if your content is going outside of the area with uh, many reasons you just turn it on and the problem will be resolved in the normal condition you need not to choose any option over here just keep it default then in the style mode you have the option for the carousel id which you can use with the carousel remote which widget we have made to remotely access this area so you can put the remote anywhere and you can use the next and previous options using that remote so you need to use the unique id over here that widget you can check out on our demo link or you can see our separate video made for the carousel remote which will be a very useful widget then you have the slider mode options you can choose the horizontal or the vertical so both the options are available then if you select the horizontal or vertical just update and the refresh page to see the effect over here then you have the slide speed option you also have the fade in fade out option you can turn it on using this where uh, this switch then for the columns you have the desktop tablet and the mobile you can select the different value for the each device then you have the option for the slide fading this option available useful when you select more than one column then you have the option for the draggable infinite mode pause on hover adaptive height autoplay autoplay speed then there is the option for the dots in the dots there are multiple options you can choose from you also have the different cosmetic options available as per the dot style then you have the dots top padding you also have the overlay content dots that means if you want to Put the dots inside the area or the outside the area you can manage that using this option then there is the option for the direction of the dots if you select the vertical or the horizontal based on that you can select the dots you also have the option for the on hover dots that means if you turn this option on the dots will be visible only when you hover on this area if you going outside of that area the dots will be invisible then you have the option for the arrows in the arrows you have the different styling options as per the style there will be a cosmetic options available then you also have the option for the on hover arrow then there is the option for the center mode in the center mode you have the center padding option, the scale and shadow based 
slide effects this option is useful when you select three or more columns then you have the on scroll view animation option which you can use any form from this we also have made separate video for the on scroll view animation you can check it out on our channel so these are the options available in the carousel anything option hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on carousel anything widget for elementor if you have any other questions write us on the comment box below subscribe to our channel for more videos like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video